defense. And Derek had nowhere to go. Just simply had nowhere to run. Down the Lisa Salters live with Lamar Jackson. Lisa. Lamar, tell me, what is it? Lamar, what does it feel like to win a playoff game? It feels good. I'm happy we got it done. All phases played great today. We know it's gonna be a tough um, matchup. You know, they beat us two times um, that I've been here. Uh, I'm just happy we got the victory. You know, our team played great today. We finished, finally. We finished. Lamar, they, finally jumped, finished. they jumped on you guys early. What changed after they went up 10-0? Yeah, we stayed focused. You know, we didn't get rattled. Um, my coaches didn't get rattled. You know, we had to put points on the board. We showed the ball pretty good. You know, I threw an interception, a dumbass. I'm sorry, a dumb interception. You know, but we just kept fighting when we made it happen. You told me that you had heard the talk all week that you couldn't win in the postseason. It was your number one goal. What was going through your mind when you threw that early pick and they went up 10 nothing? Oh, we got to go score. You know, this year, it's not going to be the same results as last year. That was on my mind. I told Coach, you know, he was Coach Irv was talking to me the whole time. The whole he about day. to get fired. He always do that, but I was telling him locked in. You know, that shouldn't have been an interception. I was ticked off about it. I'm still ticked off about it. But we got the victory, so I can't be too mad. This game was built about you and Derrick Henry. You got about, your... No, no it wasn't. It, well, was about, it was about us winning the game, you know. It's not about me and Derrick Henry. You know, we played two different positions. He a great running back. You know, he won the best running backs ever. And, you know, it was about the Ravens versus Titans, you know, and we, we came out with a victory. I'm talking about how... Okay. Wagwan is the boy came out here and I'm back with another one. What's up, man? How you doing? I ain't see you in the wild. Anyways, man, Ravens versus Titans. Not gonna lie, I was a doubter. I was, I'm a, I was, I was, I was, I still am a doubter. I had the Titans in this game. Um, I picked the Titans over the Ravens because simply over the fact because simply because of the fact that Lamar Jackson is an amazing runner and he's a good quarterback, but he's not always consistent with passing. Like he just finished the game, 179 passing yards, no passing touchdowns, one interception, with 130 yards on the ground. So that's 300 yards in total. Which is okay, but no, no, that's good. Three hundred yards in total, that's good. But I don't necessarily still believe. Like going forward, I don't know who they play next week. Um, but I can't pick the Ravens to like beat nobody, like the Chiefs or the Packers or I don't even know about the Bills or the Rams with their defense. Like I don't know. Like it's like. He's in a, like he still ain't shows it. Like he was seventeen of twenty four, one hundred seventy nine passing yards. So in my opinion, he did a, a very okay game. And another thing, the Titans, bro. Derek, first of all, Derek Henry got boxed today. He got full on boxed. Like they boxed this man up. He cannot run the ball. He couldn't make no room. He couldn't. Damn, like they this man had a two thousand yard season. Like that's that's elite. Like only the best running backs ever have two thousand yard seasons. He had a two thousand yard season and he didn't even get over a hundred yards on the ground today. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. But they need to give Derrick Henry some help. AJ Brown is a monster. AJ Brown is is one of the best young wide receivers in the league. Like, he is a monster. But one thing that I think they've shown me, the Titans, especially after that dumb Tannehill interception, is they need a new quarterback, bro. I don't know why they paid him. First of all, they paid him. They paid Derrick Henry, too, but they paid him before they paid Derrick Henry. And I was just like, that, that mind blowing me, like, and they paid him a lot, too, and they got him. So I don't even think you could do nothing with him. Ryan Tannehill, to me, he's just like a very, very, very... No, no, He's like a very good, decent quarterback. Like, he's not a good quarterback. He's not a bad quarterback. But he's a very good, decent quarterback, if you get what I'm saying. Like, he's not an elite quarterback. I could pick 10 quarterbacks that I would draft before him. Like, off the... Lamar, A-Rod, Brady, 
Um, Holmes, of course. Kyler, Josh Allen. Who else? Who else would I take over him? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Baker, the way how Baker was playing in the second half of the season. Baker Mayfield. Um, fuck Phillip Rivers. You know, it's some quarterbacks that he's better than. But he's not an elite quarterback. And he's not among one of the worst. I'm saying he's just a good, decent quarterback. So, like, I don't think they're going to necessarily do much. Like, they got a great, amazing runner, rusher with Derrick Henry. But I don't think they're going to do nothing because, how, like, how? Okay, like five minutes. <laughs> okay. Chill. Anyways, what was I saying? Thank you. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, um, they I don't think they're gonna go nowhere because of the fact of how decent Ryan Tannehill is. They got an okay defense, you know. Good defense, good defense, good defense. Um, they wasn't containing Lamar at all. And the other crazy thing about him, Lamar Jackson too is when if you let him break free, bro, if you give him any amount of inch, any amount of room, he's just going to explode, bro. He's one of the – is he the most explosive player in the, in, the, in the NFL? Like the most explosive? Like is it anybody we could even – Put in his lane, like Tyreek Hill, but you got to get him the ball. Um, oh, something all right. Um, who else is very explosive? Deshaun Jackson, of course, whenever he, whenever he's healthy. But like, just for especially being a quarterback position, and he has the ball in his hands every snap of offense. This is a fucking wildcat or something. He's the most explosive player in the NFL, bro. But I just feel like he got to get his passing up, bro. Like he. Not bad for a runner. I'm not saying that he he can't pass. Like, you know, obviously he can. I just think it's more of a consistency thing. I can't speak. I just think it's more of a consistency thing. If he's more consistent with passing, give you a 225-yard game, 250-yard game, and then 75 yards on the ground. Because it expands your playbook more. It allows you to do more. No, it allows you to control the clock more. It allows you to control your game more. Everybody's not guessing that you're doing a read option every play or 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 a quarterback read every play like i just think in order for them to take that next step he needs to you know what i'm saying he he needs to um Sorry, my phone buzzing right now. But anyways, in order for them to take that next step, he needs to be more consistent. So congrats to the Ravens on their win. They did a good job. Um, I like how they danced on their um, on they, uh, on they, on they logo at the end. Bro, the NFL is so weak, bro. They don't let people wear the, the, the cleats that they want. They don't let people. Like, the NFL is just no fun, bro. But that's a whole different topic. Tennessee Titans. They, Tannehill needs to become a good quarterback instead of a good, decent quarterback. Um, and the Ravens just need to, they need Lamar to be more consistent. Because I feel like the Ravens' defense be doing, they just held Derrick Henry to under 100 yards. So I feel like their defense could do it. It's no shade, no slight to their defense. We definitely can see that their defense could do it. That is definitely not the issue here. It all starts and ends with Lamar Jackson because he could be, he has the potential to be the very best player in the NFL next to Patrick Mahomes. The very best. He doesn't have to sling the ball like how Patrick Mahomes could do because nobody could do that. Like Patrick Mahomes in a tier of his own as far as throwing that shit go. But if they could get him a little bit more consistent, you could say that they ain't need him to do it this game, but it wasn't like a blowout, so it it couldn't it couldn't have hurt it for him to be more effective passing and not even saying like effective like completion percentage he was 17 to 24 that's that's very good but 
like as far as being able to call passes, sling the ball down the field, go deep in big playoff games. I get that they was playing conservative because, of course, he lost the past two playoff games, so they were sticking to what they know, which is running. You know what I'm saying? But running is not going to beat the Packers, I don't think. Running is not going to beat the Seahawks. I'm not the Seahawks. The Rams, running is not going to beat Patrick Mahomes. In my very humblest opinion, I could be wrong. I was wrong about the the Titans, barely. If Ryan Tannehill don't throw that pick. So, and that was a clutch run by Lamar at the end, too. So, he's he's nice. You know, he be making the right reads and all that, too. He's definitely not trash. I'm definitely not saying that he's trash, and I'm definitely not bashing him. I don't want y'all to think that I'm bashing him. Oh, he's trash. He, no. Nah. But that's it, man. That's my review, review, recap, reaction to the Ravens versus the Titans. Um, Who do the Titans go up against next? I'll give you all my uh, fucking Rams. Can I speak? Who do the Ravens Rams? Who does the Ravens go up against next week? Damn. NFL playoff bracket. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I'm going to give y'all my pick right now. Okay, so whoever wins against... Wait, where the hell is that? Okay, so the Ravens and will go up against whoever wins tonight against the Browns and the Steelers. And I got the Browns in that game just because I don't like the Steelers. But I think the Steelers could win because the Browns don't have Odell. But the Browns ain't have Odell for about eight weeks now, and they've been playing better without him. The Browns need to trade Odell, too. But we'll talk about that more when I give you all the Browns and Steelers video. But I want the Steelers to lose because I hate Corvette, Corvette, hopping them jet like jet, and with a damn with a net like net. That is the most hateable team. This is not a Steelers video. Anyways, I'm out. Jersey.